from Texas. I actually brought my camera to Texas to vlog, but then decided against it because our days were kind of like super scattered and I haven't seen my friends in like a month. So I just really wanted to be present with them. It probably is going to be the last ACL that I go to. ACL is like an event in Austin. It's always a good time, but it's just a lot. I've noticed that as I've gone older, like I just don't want to be like in super large crowds. Like I'm okay going to like a concert or like like football game at Gillette or things like that, but a crowd of 200,000 people can get really, really overwhelming. I will say that it's a super organized festival though, so it doesn't feel like that many people. I usually don't do this before going to the gym because I usually come home and shower and get ready for my day immediately after the gym, but because I have to go in town, run some errands, I might stay in town for a little bit and work from a coffee shop. I just wanna have like my skincare on me so I just don't feel like I didn't do anything. I'm actually going to the doctors to take a comprehensive blood panel, make sure my markers are trending in the right direction. And it's more so for preventative health. Everything that I do, I'm a very healthy person. Everything I do is mostly for preventative health because when you're a healthy person, you go to the doctors, they're like, yep, everything's, everything's good. So I go out of my way to do things to see like if things are starting to become a problem. It's easier to tackle something when it's starting to become a problem versus when it's already a problem. So that's my whole MO. I also got a package from Say. I think that's how you pronounce it. They sent me so much. Basically enough to do like your whole face, like primer, foundation, blush, mascara, like the whole nine yards. So I think I'm gonna do that later tonight or maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll show this tomorrow because I think we're going to dinner tomorrow. Today might be like a no makeup day. So yeah, I'll probably do this tomorrow. <laughs> Of course, I tried to film getting my blood drawn and they were like, you can't do that. Just grabbed a new tray. This one is the maple salmon. So yummy, yeah, gonna heat this up. Also so annoying, I got pen on my leggings and my leggings are super light today. I Googled how to make it, did I press start? I did not press start. <sighs> So I Googled like how to get pen out and they said rubbing alcohol is the best. While this food heats up, let's see if that's actually true or not. Rubbing alcohol, some cotton pads. I have a meeting in like 15 minutes, so don't have time to like shower and change and all that as much as I'd like to. Going into Boston for my doctor's appointment and all that is literally a journey, like a half day endeavor, a pilgrimage, honestly. Let's see. It's like low key working. Okay, that's crazy. What a cool little hack. Am I the last person on earth to know about this hack or is this like a real thing? This meeting that I have, no clue what it's about. I just know a little bit about the person. They invest in companies in Silicon Valley. That's basically all I know. They've reached out to me, really interested about the Healthy Cup Club. So they probably just wanna learn more, but it's very, I don't know, it's random. And have you raised any outside money for it or no? No, we've never raised any money, nor have we ever, all of our traction has been organic. There's a group of maybe 50 or 60 Austin-based angel investors. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about raising money or are you kind of like comfortable with where it's at? Now it's just a question of like most effective way to grow. I definitely want to get to the point where I want to raise money right now because everything happened so organically. I really want to see how 
with optimizing the websites and having our systems in check, how Healthy Gut Club can grow via ambassadors and also through ads. Like I'm really curious to see like if we throw some money at ads and have someone who's like really good at working them, like how we can grow and get to that. And then maybe after reaching that plateau, like seeing, okay, like where, where, like what else can we do here to get to that like next, next level? Seems like obviously you've kind of gotten at the like, you know, hardest part of it where, you know, your story resonates, like you have like initial revenue, but, and I do think there's probably a lot to think about in terms of like the most effective way to grow. Let me know however you're thinking about it in terms of investment or not. But I also kind of agree with you, like if you got something that's like working mm -hmm. and you don't need to take outside money, that's even better. Mm -hmm. I think as soon as you take outside money, it kind of changes the dynamic a little bit. That's wild. Someone found out about my company, researched it, and was like, I want to be an angel investor. That's so cool. Grabbing Instacart from Market Basket. I will say, I think I like, I love branding and I love, um, like the creativity and ideas around building a company like i love i love the creation process of it and all the creative aspects of it but i don't like anything else about <laughs> running a business it's really hard especially as a solopreneur like meaning like just one person who's like i don't have like partners or anything like that that's really hard i will never never mark my words i will never start a business again on my own i will always have like a partner or someone that's in it with me because if there's one thing i learned of running a business on your own when you're not feeling good or you're having a bad day a bad week a bad month <laughs> why don't i just think of friends um you, you know like there's no partner there like you know what like you helped me out during my rough time like i like i'm gonna pick up the slack this month it's like no it's just you like you are the entire group project and that's not realistic in life at all so yeah i obviously love healthy gut club more than life itself but it is hard to just like consistently be motivated to grow a business and all the intricacies that happen within a business behind the scenes stuff. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. All right, soup is ready. I used unsalted bone broth. So it's so hard, like soup really needs to be salted for it to like get all the flavors out. Some Plus it's so much liquid, but it's that fine balance between like too much sodium, you know? I'm buying my friend olive oil right now because I support people, because that's what I do. That's what you do? So I don't need olive oil right now, but guess what? Well, I mean, you can always use it. So I'm going to do them all in order because I'm a good guy. Good. You want to taste test this and let me know what it needs? Like more salt, more pepper? You know, I like things salty, so. Truffle oil. Ooh, truffle oil will probably be good. Do you want to salt it? Yes. It's looking good. It's gut healthy because obviously it has the bone broth and then it also has turmeric. And lastly, it has garlic. So garlic's like an antimicrobial turmeric as well works as an antimicrobial and it's just good for your gut lining and then uh bone broth helps promote collagen i just want to do this <laughs> with this ladle <laughs> i want to just recycle you know what it reminds you have you ever seen like that uh what's that cartoon on nickelodeon with like the bears and they would eat porridge oh i the bernstein bears yeah oh my God. like that porridge yeah 
And they would like, the mama bear would be like making yeah. the soup. Kind of reminds me of Franklin too. Remember Franklin? The turtle? Yeah. Do not quiz me on cartoons. What are you going to Yeah, you know everything. I, I do. I was a big cartoon gal growing up and still am. Bear my fish. Should we vlog tomorrow? Um, sure. I think we shall. Good night. One thing I will never do is drink coffee just like straight. Like you always need a straw. It is 7.46. Tino's still sleeping. He's the sleepiest man in America and the most terrifying man to wake up in the morning. But I'm gonna try. I'm wearing a new Vitality set. It is so cute. It's from, um, I forget the name of the girl who started the, the company, but she's kind of like a fitness influencer. Someone, uh, someone, a bird literally just shit on your car right now. <laughs> what are the odds of that if it landed right on the windshield? Um, she started that company and it used to be Balance Athleta and now it's called Vitality. And the material is just so soft. Did you touch it? Touch my pants. Yeah, everyone you always tell me that they, they feel the same. Okay, well, yeah, they're pretty pretty soft. Well, the owner, I feel like, is more like compressive and more working out-y. Yeah, where I'm this not, is I'm more of like, like a legging uh, guru. This you know? is like more casual and more just like like cozy, like athleisure, like to chill. I would know because I wear so many leggings myself. Tino and I were just talking about what we would do if we won the Powerball because someone just won the Powerball. How much was it? Okay. 1.76 billion. He had an option to do a 770 million dollar lump sum or take 26 payments of the 1.7 billion, which I don't know. I would do lump sum. At Every, that point, everyone does lump lump sum, but think about how much you're leaving on the table. Yeah, but at that point, what like at that? There's a point, huge difference. I was thinking that too. 29. Okay, what's 29 payments of 1.7 billion dollars? 29 payments yeah. of 1.7 billion? Yeah. It's like $50 million checks? Yeah. 50 or 75? I don't know. Let's ask Siri. What, what was it again? 1.7 billion divided by 27. 62 million. Basically 63 million. So you million. get checks of $62 million. I don't know how many times. Yeah. I have to see the, you know, I'm going to look it up. Power jackpot can choose an annu annu annuity option or a lump sum. The annuity option is an annual payout over 30 years. 30 with a, years? With the, lumps, with the sum paid out rising by 5% each year. The jackpot size is not the amount in the prize pool, but rather the size of the, those 30 payments added together. What? I have no idea what that is. What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know. I would just do lump sum because yes like leaving say 25 million dollars on the table is a sh crap ton of it's money it's not 25 million you leave like 700 million 700 million think about it okay that's 1.7 that's billion the, the cash out is 700 billion 1.7 billion yes and the cash out is 770 million and how much are it's you no, going to get per month 60 774 million? million and the jackpot was 1.76 billion so they take a billion on the lump sum, a billion dollars. Okay, that is kind of crazy. But I don't know, understand how the annuity option works. So it's over 30 years. So you must get a check a year. Well, but 5% rising, what the fuck does that mean? That means 5%, like you'll get 5%. No, I get what yeah. it means, but like I don't understand how. It's just hashtag math. I would step one, make sure everyone in my immediate family is taken care of and does not have to pay a bill for the rest of their life and probably put them on like some sort of allowance, some sort of like 
thing like that where they get money every single month um, like enough to live you know and like live like a, a nice life then step number two is I would just like create plans for like new homes buy properties and places that I would want to have a home and um, like set up vacation homes things like that set up money in like trusts and things like that as well that would probably take a huge sum of money and then last is like things with depreciating a deep depreciating assets you know like cars and things like that I would buy so many I would buy so much shit like the like the material things last things that are going to increase value over time like property like trusts like like stock market stuff things like that first and foremost like just throw so much money into that because I want to keep growing my money and that's like generational wealth like whoever won that has set their family up for generation generations to come so, like yeah. his whole lineage is all, all set. set they're yeah. all set he's gonna buy property oh, God. it's insane to run into I would buy a fucking island and just disappear or I'd buy a ranch yep in like Montana and just oh disappear. that's another thing too like set up a, a non-profit mine would be disabilities like helping people helping disabled people um just like live an easier life whatever that avenue would be like obviously I would hire like the best of the best to help brainstorm problem solving that people with disabilities face on a day-to-day -day basis to just like make their life easier that's like stuff I would do like you have money to hire like lobbyist to like improve infrastructure for disabled people at that point because yeah. you have crazy fu money yeah that's like stuff i would do just like try to make the world a better place as well like if you have that much money and you're not trying to make the world a better place like you're, you're kind of scummy loser, yeah. yeah you're like not kind of scummy like you're, dog, you are my dog sanctuary scummy. would be just ridiculous tina's gonna have, have a dog like, sanctuary and i'm gonna have a disabled maybe dogs and horses yeah and I would just have a full staff. You know, we would we would help Shit. take donations, we would feed dogs, I would get sponsors, it would be a shit show. Yeah. I could see that. Disabled people with animals, like some sort of intersection there as well. Because they people the with disabilities people could hang out with yeah. the horses. Like you know that um that program Best Buddies? Yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, like something like that. Hire like a Donna from Suits assistant. Donna's a savage. Like the best assistant this world's ever seen. You probably end up with being low key my assistant. She got a fat salary. I wouldn't need a salary. Huh? I wouldn't need a salary. Yeah, you. What do you think you're gonna be? You think you're gonna get on the bank account with your spending? No way. <laughs> that money would be gone in like six months. <laughs> You get a ridiculous salary and then... Honey, I bought an island. <laughs> exactly. And then you would have a... You would get a lump sum for the Healthy Gut Club and we would just hire a CEO. Oh, the Healthy Gut Club would be a household name if we had that Le kind of money. Legit. Legit. I would have every celebrity yeah. like advocating for the Healthy Gut Club. Yeah, I would probably get a 10 million in injection with a, with a ridiculous CEO in place. Mm -hmm. That'd be insane. Oh, to fantasize. Now we are heading to the Nutri office to do work. I like working out of the Nutri office instead of home. I feel like it just like it out of your hones me in. Whereas like home, I'm like, oh, let me undo like the dishes or like, you know what? Let me throw some laundry in or like, let me like clean this. Just like random shit. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, like two and a half hours pass. It's like, it's not the random stuff. It's getting out of flow state that really messes with you. Because you think like, oh, I'm just going to throw laundry in. But it's not, yes, that takes only two minutes. But it's the act of like taking you out of that state that you were in. It's so hard to get back in. Right, right, right. It's like you just need to be like dialed in in an area where you truly can't be You know distracted. what I want to do today at some point? What? Is just like lay out in the grass with a blanket and Romeo and just fucking read. And listen to music. Why don't we go to the beach? Do you have the chairs here? I just really want to go to the beach like a couple more times before like we legitimately can. I mean fucking Florida for three weeks. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be a fucking yogi bear on the beach every morning. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that.
that's settled. Now we're debating whether or not we should drive down to Florida or fly. I'm kind of thinking drive. Me too. Like I would be down for a road trip. It wouldn't even be that long. How long does it take to drive to Florida? Hours. That's easy. Easy Is peasy. It? Yeah, I've done I've done Texas. Boston to Texas, don't recommend. It's, that's, a, it's similar. That's basically three fourths of the country. Um, and we can stay at like 24 hours. That means two hours of all day driving. Two 12 hour days, yeah. Not bad, but we can like- Eight to eight, it's yeah. a lot. But we could break it up into like three, four days and make it like a fun thing. I think it would have to be, you'd have, so what's eight divided? You could do eight hour days, right? Eight times three is 24. Yeah. yeah that I mean, wouldn't be bad. No, I That's drive, like nine to five. Yeah. Yeah. It's like nine to five. We watch a bunch of movies and then. Tino watches TV while we drive because he has this thing that I bought him, the Octo Buddy. So he just places it on the screen and we mm -hmm. legit we legitimately watch TV while driving. I think we should do that. It would be three days. Mm -hmm. Wake up nine to five. But if we so what's the stops? Well, that's the, the Look fun on part. Your phone. That's the fun part. We it can decide. It would be like Carolinas, Georgia, and then like Florida. Yeah, we could. Yeah. We can look up the map here so I see like what's on the way. Halfway between Miami and Boston is St. Paul's, North Carolina. North Carolina would be, the Carolinas would be really cool. Have you ever been there? No. I've been once. Where's Myrtle Beach? Don't South recommend Street. going to Myrtle Maybe Beach. <laughs> Don't recommend going to Myrtle Beach. It's basically like Hampton Beach, but like bigger. That sounds terrible. Yeah, exactly. Getting ready for date night and I'm going to try the new products that I got from Say, Sai, I don't know how to say this, but I've seen people post about it online and people seem to love it, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna basically do my whole face with it. I already put on my moisturizer, which is this Tatcha water-based, yeah, water cream. I know there's a purple one that's a little bit thicker, but I like this one for daytime use. So it says one and a half pumps, one, I'm not gonna put on a foundation or anything today because I don't know, I just haven't been in foundation mood. I feel like I shouldn't have done one and a half pumps. <laughs> I think I should have done like just one pump because this is really, really shiny. Like not, I don't like it almost looks like my whole face is highlighted, which if you like that look, good, like that's good. I don't know. Do I like it or do I hate it? You know, sometimes like initially you don't like things and then they grow on you. I think I like it. All right, that. Oh, but they did give me like a skin tint. So I'll use the skin tint just to like, just so we can see. That looks like it could be my color. And honestly, it's just giving like a really natural dewy look. If you're into the moisturized, glossy, dewy look, this combo like, is something you need because my skin looks very dewy right now. I hope the camera's picking it up. This is just like the most blendable ever dibs. I love it for every day. And then go in with my Casas concealer and I just put that all over my lid. I mean, my under eye, <laughs> not my lid. I don't use this for every day. I think it's like a little bit too pigmented, a little bit too much. Do you shower in? Mm -hmm. My stack of books. It's called a tripod, a DIY tripod. There's no poop in here because you told me that the other bathroom doesn't flush. Oh, did he fix that? Nope. Nope. So how are we gonna do this? I need, to make, I need noise. How about that? Taking a poop in the same room. This is exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. BRB. I put on the blush. I'm gonna place Prima, so I'm kind of excited about it. Definitely mauve. Yeah, you haven't gone? I have. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this highlighter. It's such a pretty color. What are you doing? Stop. The consistency is a little tacky. It's not powdery. This highlighter is definitely a lot more subtle. I don't know if I like this to be honest. Not a big fan of the highlighter. I don't know, initial reaction is like, 
Not a fan. What are you gonna wear, babe? Oh, I just found these jeans. I've never worn them before. Those look cool. I'm gonna say what vibe is Prima? Because my fit's kind of like. Definitely like. Definitely not this. Definitely not that. <laughs> definitely not that. I'm gonna go classy boy vibe. Do a classy boy. Why don't you wear the um? Like, like, wait a minute. Is he like kind of a classy boy right now? Like, maybe that's the vibe. Like Pico, nice. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What's that guy do? Is he from Wall Street, maybe? Yeah. Wait a minute. That guy knows about the clock. <laughs> that guy is gonna tell me it's about time in the market, not timing the market. That guy knows. It claims to know a lot about crypto. <laughs> that guy's gonna talk my ear off about NFTs. That's right. You're on the same page. <sighs> You don't remember that song? Yeah, I do. So the mascara, I feel like... I like Don't Love. It's definitely not volumizing. It's kind of... You know, it reminds me of this mascara. The Ilia. I think a lot of this makeup, to be honest, is more of like a daytime look. Whereas I'm going out for dinner and mm. it's just not vibing with the nighttime look. I think if I were like going to lunch with the girls, I would have a totally different opinion on this makeup. Like I don't hate it. I just think it's not fitting the vibe. Let's see this color. Or this is such a pretty cute like bubblegum pink. This is this kind of reminds me of, like the summer more. Friday. We do. Isn't that the I like that vibe way more. But that's like uh wicked preppy. Okay, really like the gloss. I like the consistency less tacky than summer friday but like gloss factor the same fit check yeah do you know how to do a fit check have you done a fit check before i have not these are from express this is also from express those are from nordstrom i don't know the brand this is from zara this is a rolex and my <laughs> skin is from italy okay nice so nice shorts are Ella. Aloe. Yeah. Uh, tank is free spirit. These are, I don't know where these are from. These are so old. These are like five years old. They're from somewhere online. Okay. Alexander Wayne. That's it. Solid fit, solid fit check. <laughs> Terrible fit check. How opposing of vibes can we be right now? That's <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty. Totally, I mean, totally different vibes.